Hey guys, and welcome back. Uh, I finally got all the parts in for the 1971 uh, Honda SL125 that I picked up at a yard sale about a month ago. And uh, a couple videos on it already. We already had it running. And with that, I ordered a bunch of repair parts for it. Battery chains, sprockets, front seals, uh, some other things, cables and whatnot. Anyway, uh, so we thought we were all set to go. I put a temporary tank on it while the uh, uh, original gas tank was getting sealed and with that I found out that third gear was noisy. If I had found out earlier about that. I tested it on the bench and it you know ran it through the gears it was okay but when I actually wrote it on the ground I found third gear was uh, uh, noisy. So fast forward we had on the last video tore the engine apart and found the broken teeth on the gears. You can see two teeth on that one then the opposing gear right there has some more so I had to go and order some more components for it and uh, those have all come in one being the engine gasket set that's, that's just a pet for the tank this is a specialty tool for uh, uh, clutch disassembly and it is a special nut and something else also and then replacement gears so we do have a complete set of gears taken out of a another 125 that was uh, on eBay I think I paid 60 bucks I think 60 bucks delivery I think it was 50 and then 10 bucks shipping and it also has the uh, shift forks and the shift drum packaged inside there so it should be pretty much every piece of the transmission that is needed and while I was looking around at some of the other stuff and uh, was going to make sure I had everything I needed to put together the engine ran fine, rode fine, was quiet, didn't smoke, but when I took the piston and cylinder, let's see if we can find a good place to show you guys. It has, let's go over by the, I'm going to set you up in a second and I'll show it. But uh, the cylinder was showing somewhere, so I ended up uh, ordering a new piston, cylinder, uh, pin, and hardware kit, and that is that right there. So uh, let me get you set up. We'll take a peek at what happened to that old jug. Yeah, see how well this shows. I don't know if you guys can see, I'm looking at that round line right there. I look close under the uh, the magnifying glass, and it actually looks like it's got a crack to me. Uh, again, it didn't like it like it was hurting anything, but uh, for now. But who knows what's going to continue to do in the future? And then you can also see all the. Uh, Pitting, I wouldn't say scoring, it's more pitting than anything. It's a 46 year old motorcycle, so um, I'm sure it sat for long periods of type, time in its life, and that just looks like um, when that happened. You can see those two, two distinct different lines down there. That's probably two times that where the piston sat for a long period of time, and it just got some corrosion and pitting in with that. So while we're in there, we are going to go and replace those also. So let me get set up and we'll start getting into this. So I think the first thing I want to address is the fact that this is kind of like a, a metal greasy football of sorts and trying to work on it in its current state is uh, quite cumbersome. You know, it doesn't lay flat in any kind of position. So I think we should probably take a couple of minutes and we'll, and we'll figure out some kind of jig to set it up on. And what I'm thinking is if I can get some maybe all thread or, or something coming down with uh, nuts on them. We'll make like little stanchions to come off maybe in three or four places. And I'll see if we can get a metal plate and we'll just tack it to the metal plate so that the whole thing is kind of supported. Because we're gonna be you know, having to clean up that gasket surface and moving gears around and all. So let me see what I can find and come up for that. Right, let's see if we can get some uh, legs tacked on this thing. I just eyeball them straight up and down.
What do you think? Beef it up just a little bit more. That should do it. And then when I'm done, I can just kind of break them off of there and I'll still have my steel plate back. Just a temporary structure. So I'm trying to think of which way I want to go now. Do I want to take and start unstacking the gears and see if I can get down to the two that are broke without having to disassemble the whole thing? Or do I want to start taking some of this gasket off and, and clean that up out of my way? I'm kind of thinking I may prep this area first so that I'm not sure what that's going to offer me. <laughs> I think I may want to just kind of go clean that stuff up first and then I can kind of wash it as one last token and then we'll start uh, destacking it. Because I'm afraid what I'm going to do is if I start cleaning it and I knock stuff off or drop stuff, I'll uh, lose the orientation. What do you think? I think we'll try cleaning it, see how far we get, and then from there we're going to go lay some paper towels or something down and we'll start unstacking the gears and uh, see how we can do. So that stuff's on there pretty good. I hit it with a scraper, but it's uh, you're not going to go just kind of go scrape that off of there. It's going to need something. So. We're gonna go try a roll lock scotch bright disc and we'll see how that works. I got a couple of different grits. I gotta go change out the head, but I also have you know the brown, I think is more aggressive. But we'll give that a shot. Noise alert. And uh, if neither one of those work, we'll have to go to the wire wheel, but uh, let's uh, try approaching it gingerly and uh, not dig up the aluminum is the idea. <laughs> a little bit more aggressive seems okay um, I'm gonna try kicking it so that the debris always always kind of flying away from it so I'm trying to shoot it in I also put tape on the bearing to save the bearing help save the bearing let's try a little bit more aggressive I think that's more aggressive and on smaller cleaned it up pretty good. I took the two studs out of the um, for the jug and I was able to clean that surface too. The only place I was kind of a pain in the ass is by the locating pins. I tried to see if they would pull out of there easy and they wouldn't so I just kind of did my best to work around them with a, a sharp screwdriver. Kind of sharp. Again, the whole thing's going to get washed down anyway uh, in the future but I just wanted to try to clean it up. So I think we should probably try to transfer those I got a board here with some nails on and we will take the gears and we'll flip them over how things come apart if they'll come apart and we'll work our way down It's got a snap ring on that one, and then that's the next gear. I can get that one out, I think. Actually, the shift fork is holding it. I wonder if you could lift that whole shift fork assembly out with it. Ooh, that looks dangerous, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to take the snap ring off. I don't know if you guys can see that. Because that's going to have to come off anyway. 
and I may just draw myself a little picture on the wood over here just the direction the forks are going I'm just trying my best not to mess up the orientation because nothing's gonna suck more if you go through all this and you put it back together and uh, you have one thing out of place and it doesn't play well you know so I'd rather take my time and that snapping's off of there let's go with that guy It's not going to pull out of there because, because why? Because it's attached on the other end. I'm wondering if there's some way to loosen up the forks. I'd really like not to I'm sure these probably are adjustable where they sit and I really don't want to lose that spot. I don't see a set screw or anything going in there though. Gotta look closer. Alright, so I took a little bit of time and stared at it. And this is the shift drum. I'm gonna call it the shift drum. And uh, that is what is connected to the to the foot shifter in a way this is your foot shifter here so as you're you're going through and you're clicking through the gears that in turn turns that drum there's the the nut on the end of it and uh slides the gears forward and back of course how you, depending on how, they, how you indicate it so getting that bolt out of the end of there looks like it's going to require taking this off which is what i bought the specialty tool for to get that off and then once that off we should be able to remove the clutch uh, assembly and get that out of the way and then we should have access to down there i kind of had a feeling we were going to have to do all that but you know i just wanted to try to be the least invasive as possible so we get those uh, starting to get out of the way and see how more how much further we can dig into it. How to go for the headlight? So that came off, sitting in a uh, eight carton. I got the snap ring halfway off. Let's get that out of there. And hopefully this will slide off as a unit. I'm try to take it as one assembly. There we go. Clutches don't look terrible. case where I need another nail. <laughs> so that the one washer is what was holding this. So that looks like it's kind of That's just got to be paranoid. You start shifting stuff in the middle when you get the, the gears apart. Are you going to get them back in the correct path? So that needs to come out. I don't know if I should take this off. Take all this stuff out of the way or not.
I say we just try it. I think we're going to end up taking it off anyway, but... What do you think? What are you going to do? Get somebody else to do it? The crank came right off after that came out. And... This guy... It's already loose. I already loosened it. Where shit goes everywhere. <laughs> come on, socket, come off of there. Here you go. So now all right, so that's pinned. It should be only go one way. Yeah. So that can only, that cam can only go back on one way. That's a good thing. Now I think, I think I should be able to lift. Let's get this thing back on its stand. I think I should be able to lift up. But here's where it goes all kind of. Right. So now we should get our piece of wood back. We should be able to stack all these gears. We just got to get down one more layer. So wood back. All right. So let's back you guys up just a little bit so I have a little bit of working room. And then in case I screw up, I can see what I put where upside down. I think we want to take a, this guy. I bet you that's got a detent in it. And when I lift that up off of there, that little ball is gonna, and spring's gonna pop out of there. If it were easy, everybody would do it. I actually do not see that gear. It's not gonna be able to come off of that shaft anyway. I think we're just going to have to remove, let's tap that guy back down. I think we're going to have to lift that something right out of there. That's one broken one. Let me take that. And we need to flip that over there. We don't have to go any deeper on that shaft, but this one needs to get flipped over to there. And I do not see that gear. That gear has to come off the other direction. Does that not suck? Hmm. So. This can come right now, I think. Can we? 
flip that over and put it on the nail? Of course not. Remember that one. That gear is on there. Now this shaft needs to be able to come out. You need to get that snap ring off and change that gear. So let's go get that done. So I have um, that sticking up in the vise. This is, should be the same shaft and it should be able to do the same. This is the gear we need. So that should be the same gear as that. All right, so we got that, that, that one's still on there. All right. This guy I need to drop it down. To there. I don't have something right. Because that snap ring. Let's see that all the way down. Do I have that washer on the wrong side already? Did I already mess it up? Is that like that? It would have been. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I was afraid of. That's because it was like that, right? Because I just got done trying to squeeze the pliers in between there. Life of a dyslexic. I end up flipping stuff over. Alright. So I think. We are good as far as that's concerned. Now we should be able to take that whole shaft and flip it back on over into the machine. All right, now is where the fun begins. And that needs to drop back down into those guys. That as far as it goes, and that gear just pops up to lock into that one. Yeah, it's probably just as far as it goes. I still have to get all those forks back in yet, I know. Uh, what are we gonna do for Next one is this one, which is our should be our broken gear. Yeah. So let me get that out of the other set. Let's see, we have to take anything apart to get to that one. So that's that stack right there. And we need which one do we need? 
the we need that one but that's upside down compared to nothing said this stack wasn't no it's still got a clip on it did I screw up study that. I'm not sure. I, I was flipping every gear over, right? So that would have been like that. But on this one, no, that's correct. Good. So easy to get confused. Let me get the clip off and we'll get that new one. Okay, what are we doing? The old and the new. Is that what we're doing? I should not fit. <laughs> Alright, so that is our new gear. I'm going to go put this back on the shaft I just took apart so that I don't lose my place. And where was I? I was. The fork is on the bottom. Fork on the bottom. Fork on the bottom. All right. I think we have to try to get that the shifter forks in and the drum in at the same time. Well, that's going to suck. <laughs> I'm going to clean up some of the surface before I go any further while I can get to it. And then uh, we'll try getting all that together. All right, the great wrestling match begins. I need to try to get all three of those forks kind of started, get that thing up into place. Then I still have to get the drum in. So I think it kind of pulled up out of its, its hole. And that. Lifted there, there, there. Now we got to get the whole thing lifted so we can get, where is it, this guy has to go back in, let's go clean that. I'm blow it off of here and the compressor is probably going to turn on. Now this, you need to be able to drop in, and I marked it with a marker, so that should be facing those guys. But I think I'm going to have to lift that whole assembly right back out of there again. See if we can get those pins started. Ah, 
not too far. Oh, come off of there. That was gonna suck if it does. It's got the, I think it's got a detent in there. There you go. Okay. Which one's holding this up? I think this thing's just racked and it's holding this. Just get all that to settle down. That was facing that way. Whew. Yeah, that was easy, huh? <laughs> oh, clockmakers feel. I think maybe our best bet is flipping it back over and see if we can get that screw back in that holds this guy in. If we get this guy to hold in, I think it will hold the rest of it and then we can start restacking. What do you think? I think so. I think. So this has a spring-loaded cam right there which is going to fight me. But that's the pin that that guy needs to go in. I wonder if you'd be better off out the screw maybe at first. Let's see if we can kind of wedge it in there and get it on the pin. If that doesn't work. I want to push the whole assembly out the back side, you know. If that doesn't work. I think I just got it. Don't breathe. Now we'll be able to get the screw in, right? Ah, you suck. Let's see if we can get this off of there. Yeah, man, start. I think I got it, but what's happening is the pin's there and the hole in the bottom's not lined up. It is. That might be what's going on. I just suck. <laughs> Let's see if I can get the bolt started. Come on, you came out of there. Well, I am going to wrestle with that. I think I got it started. There we go. Right. Now, let's see if you can push that cam down. Get that started again. But I have to do that where you guys are, so you're going to miss that part, I guess. All right, I got a uh, pair of needle nose vice grips holding that spring loaded uh, arm off the cam, and I marked the pin with a marker so I can see where it is and then I marked it up there so I can just kind of try to get the orientation correct. Yeah, see how much... That's where the pin is. Where's my bolt? Something like that in there. I guess we can just get it started. Looks like it's on there. Let's go with. Oof. Does that look right? Other than the fact that I turned it.
it looks like it's sitting flat against the back. We should go to release that. Let's, I can have to get that tighter. So let me, I want to grab that so it doesn't rotate. So I'm going to go put a big old pair of something on there.